Hi everyone, Heather here. Today's video request comes from Mixty Miss 585 and they were wondering what types of things that pre-nursing students could do like for volunteering or things that they could read to kind of help prepare them. And while volunteering at the hospital is always a good idea, at my last job we had like these candy striper volunteers and they actually wore like a candy striper vest and they would kind of go around asking what we needed help with or they would stock gloves or supplies, talk to patients, wheel patients outside when they were ready to go home in their little wheelchair. So that, that's always an option for some of you who might be interested in that. Kind of helps get your feet wet a little bit, but what I really suggest would to actually take up a job as a nurse's aide, nurse's assistant because I wasn't a nurse's assistant. I, it was too hard for me to be pried away from my job at Starbucks, which I love so much. But I noticed that I did struggle a little bit more as a nursing student because I didn't have that prior experience as a nurse's aide. And I know what some of you guys are thinking about being a nurse's aide. Ew, right? Well, guess what? As a nurse, you're gonna have to do this anyways. So why not just start now? I found the even simplest things, like you're gonna think this is silly, but putting an adult diaper on a patient is really not easy. Like it may sound easy, so not easy. Or putting a bedpan under a patient or changing sheets while a patient's still in the bed, they're kind of difficult if you haven't had a lot of experience with that. And as a new nurse, I struggled a little bit. I had to kind of ask the aides how to complete these tasks. Of course, you can't do them by yourself sometimes. You have to have help, but it's so much easier when you actually know what you're doing. One thing that amazes me about the CNAs is how quick they are. They just flip the patient over and change the bed and clean them all up within the blink of an eye. And here I am over here being all dainty and gentle and not wanting to break the patient. And that's just me. I don't really know what to do about that. And also working in the hospital gives you a chance to see certain situations with patients and helps give you a head start on those nursing school clinicals. For example, you learn abnormal vital signs, you learn mental status changes that happen with the patient that you should report to the nurse, where to take a blood pressure, like if a woman has had a mastectomy with lymph nodes removed, you can't take it in that arm. Sometimes you have to take the pressure in the leg. You learn how to feed patients with swallowing difficulties, transferring patients to chairs, turning every two hours to protect their skin and prevent bed sores, how to position them and make them comfortable with pillows, collecting urine specimens, and the list goes on guys, you'll learn a lot. Another important issue is learning how to handle certain situations with patients and family members appropriately. They can be kind of manipulative and demanding and mean sometimes, and I'm not trying to scare anyone, but it's the truth. When I first started nursing school, I didn't know patients could be mean. So when one of my patients was yelling at me to get out of their room, I was really, really hurt. So when I first started nursing, I had a patient who liked to cuss and be rude, but I just had to learn to ignore it and not let it bother me or take it personal, because there's patients like that. So learning to let those certain situations roll off your back helps your mood and helps you to do your job more effectively. But don't let people's negative attitudes affect your mood. It's just not worth it. So being a nurse's assistant definitely has its advantages and might make your nursing school clinicals just a little bit easier. As for reading material, I really enjoyed my med surge book from nursing school. You can learn a lot about disease processes and what to do as a nurse. And I don't have the book with me right now, but that's one of the books from nursing school that I actually still do have and like to read sometimes to learn something new. I'm sure everyone who's had that book has tried to diagnose themselves. Like when they're sick, they look up their diagnosis or the diagnosis they think they have and they're trying to rule out all the symptoms that they don't have. Like, oh good, I don't have that and I don't have that, so I must have this. And some of you know what I'm talking about, huh? because I've done it too. Or you can just go to Barnes and Noble and find a nursing book like in the medical section. You can even get like a medical book if you want and just kind of read it and learn some new things or whatever may interest you. Well, that's it for today. Thanks for the video request and everyone have a great day, okay? Talk to you soon.